just right now, as you know, a Miss Hicks come by and ask about my story. And I told her all about it, but I'll tell you again if you want to hear it. Well, my name is Eustace Hodges. They call me Miss Eustace sometimes. And like I told Miss Hicks, I don't know when I was born, no what. But at first, Mammy and me longed to a McGee here in Wake County. Mammy worked in the fields then, ditching and searching, even plowing some when she longed to McGee. But he sold us to a Moss Rufus Jones. My daddy still longed to him, but uh, at the close of the war, he come on over to the Jones Plantation and he took up the name of Jones along with us. Moss Rufus was good on Moss McGee, they said. He given us more to eat and to wear. He didn't make us work so hard, neither. Uh, of course, we had our work to do. But Mammy didn't have to ditch and to plow no more. She worked in the house then. None of the men, women done men's work. Cause I don't know how she could work but so hard and have 11 children at the same time. <laughs> she used to have a baby one day and be in the field the next when she longed to McGee. But at Moss Rufus, she had a, a stayed in bed several days and had a doctor. Well, Mass Rufus used to let us have Saturday evening off to go fishing or swimming or into Raleigh. I remember one time somebody had a fussing with Moss Rufus about letting his niggas run loose in the town. And after that, well, he had him an overseer in town to see about his niggas. And I heard a heap about them Yankees. <laughs> but I wasn't prepared for him to take even our bread. Miss Sally wasn't prepared for it. Another, she told him where to go. And then she went on to bed sick. I was sorry for Miss Sally. That I was. You know when news of the surrender come, why Miss Sally cried some more. She ain't want Mammy to go. So, Moss Rufus told us we could stay on. Now they said that Mr. McGee, <laughs> he run his niggas off in the place with a brush broom that day. <laughs> We stayed on the Jones Plantation till 1898 when Paul died. I had married a fellow by the name of Charlie Hodges, what lived on a nearby plantation, and we were staying there with Ma and Paul. We come on to Raleigh then. And after several years, well, Manny come on over here too. You can find her over on Cannon Street, but I tell you, She's pretty furious since her stroke. Are you ready? You gonna take him over here to see this young man over here? Yes, ma'am.